Well, YouTube was just like a joke, basically. It's an M3, it has to have a carbon roof. Wow! One gentleman's been, got 22 supercars and hypercars. This thing is going to be powered by a V10 R8 motor. It's day number two. We're going to hit this SM Motor Show hard and show you some more awesome, insane rides built by talented, passionate individuals and their teams. The very first hit for the second day, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna go for some supercar, hypercar experience at Shijuan Personal Collection. Come see this. Welcome you good? Ball. Yes. We just surrounded. It's, it's kind of hard to just choose one. I've just been told that it's literally owned by one man, like one. Say hi. <laughs> one gentleman's been got 22 supercars and hypercars. What a blessed life. That is like ridiculously amazing. We're going to start out here in Aston Martinville. It is a V12 and it is 140. Uh, 147. 147, One, number 147. Can you believe that? A lot of carbon fiber work right through the bonnet, around the accents, highlighted that bright yellow. It's crazy. And right next to that, we got a McLaren Senna. Now, Listen, if I had this caliber money, this, this is what I'd be rocking. For me, Senna is absolutely one of the best looking like cars on the road because they've worked the aerodynamic package so well and still made it usable. You could still drive this car every day. Yes, there's, there's no sofas for seats. You know, it's, it's a bucket seat. It's a performance orientated seat, but it's still usable. You could still rock it. Yes, you're not going to buy many groceries. You're going to buy maybe a two liter milk and a bread and that's about it. We're getting exclusive passes out here. Yes. This is Jean Supercars. Look at this channel. You can all see all the cars. Yeah, because you want to see them driving, right? Yes. Thank you. We appreciate you. I'm going to hook you up. It's Jean Supercars on all platforms. Go check them out. They do have live videos of these cars actually driving. And this car's actually got the most mileage. Why? Because the owner enjoys it. You gotta drive it. Check his people. They even enjoying it. That guy trained for two weeks to come and enjoy this car. <laughs> How are you, sir? Be nice to the man with the muscles. Just look at this. Like I could drive. I would. I would drive this, and I would drive it properly every single day. I love the Senna, man. It's just a. It's just a beautiful car. Then we get to the Aston Martin Valkyrie. This car is all about performance and aerodynamics. So up top, you don't get to see much of the area except maybe the side where you see these bead exits. So once again, you've got aero exits out there to release the pressure. If you feed underneath, ladies and gentlemen, the, the underneath of this car almost simulates the underneath of an F1 race car. Passengers sit like really tight next to each other. Try and center the camera and you can see literally what I'm trying to say. If you follow any of the F1 races, you'll realize that the undercarriage of this car simulates very, very closely to an F1 aerodynamic package. It's just a special kind of ride, bro. We got the Ford GT. It is the Heritage Edition. One of many people's favorite cars, including Jeremy Clarkson, who really, really enjoyed this car. This could be possibly the most comfortable car that we're surrounded by to use on a daily. It's kind of practical. You can use it as a daily. So let me, Sec give me. Six cylinder, eco -boost. eco boost. Yeah, man. Yes. You gotta love it. Fast car. And it's a car that you can drive every single day. I yes. think this one must, I, I, personally speaking, I haven't driven it, yeah. but out of all the cars here, this must be one of the most comfortable cars to every day yes, use. But it's no, no space inside to do the luggage. It's only this, it's all the space for the luggage. It's nothing. Yeah, you, you're gonna FedEx your luggage, it's fine. You're gonna FedEx your luggage. The car on this, is this the best car to go uh, a long time? Oh, really? It's, it's big luggage space. The KTM? Yes, the KTM. Let's go have a look at the KTM. I, I'm shocked. I, I thought it was de definitely the GT, but let's have a look here. Oh, wow, there it's is some... Oh, this is actually luggage. pretty respectable, yes. yeah. This is for normal space. Yeah. It's just plates. Okay. And I have also the uh, racing car, the GT2. So you enjoy the car a lot? Yes. The race car, a lot. This car, it's only 2,500 kilometers. Now we have it uh, two months. Oh, so it's, it's still it's one fresh, of the newest yes. cars. It's uh, the first car from the factory he made for the streets. Wow. But the race car is the fastest car I ever drive. It's very light. It's 1,050 kilo and yeah. 700 horsepower. Wow. And it's A lot easy of fun. to drive. It's very easy to drive, but very, very fast. 
Racing. What's your favorite racetrack to drive? Ah, uh, Spa. You like Spa? Yeah. Nice. Sir, thank you for your time. I appreciate yeah, no, you, sir. No super, super cool gentleman, humble, and that's for me one of the coolest things about going to these international shows is just meeting genuine car people, people that have been blessed in life, worked hard for what they got, and they're still super cool and humble to someone that they just met, and I really like that, man. Super cool guy. Yeah, we got another beautiful Senna out in the mix, no arguments. It is a Senna, it is a GTR. It's the track version. And as much as I want to get into this, the car that's like just next to this car, I'm not saying is overshadowing this car, but yeah. Uh, you don't see many of those either. Not that you see many of these, but yeah. This is a Pagani. And, and this gentleman also owns this vehicle. You know, this is so like symbolic of what you're looking at. This car is just beautiful in all forms. I love how the carbon fiber is still exposed through the paint. How they've worked in certain leather pieces in between everything. The iconic mirrors that protrude from the front fenders. Once again, a whole bunch of carbon fiber being exposed. This thing is just ridiculous. It's a lot of real nice supercars, hypercars in this mix. The Aston Martin Valkyrie. And this Pangani is truly just something overwhelming if you're a car person, you just enjoy cars. So tell us in the comments, out of all the cars you've seen, which would have you choose? But I'm going to minimize the, the selection between the Aston Martin Valkyrie and this Pagani. Which one would you choose? You can only choose one. You can't take both. You could only choose one. Let us know in the comments which one you take. Ladies and gentlemen, I introduce to you Imran Racha from Inventory. How are you doing, my boy? I'm good, bro. How are you? I am great. There's a lot of cars that are running your system, so obviously it's doing impressive things. Tell us a little bit about the Inventory, especially the cold air inlet manifold for the M2. Okay, so the M2 is a very complicated system. It's not only the air boxes, but also the turbo inlets. Oh. So the turbo inlets, we have developed a special dimple inside. Okay. that separates the air from the contact on the actual turbo inlet so it's, it goes through Straight. very smoothly oh, yeah. wow. and that also our patented uh, eventually housing we have reversed the filter so the filter is this way around and again the air gets accelerated increasing e air speed yes yeah. yeah and it also then reduces the temperature and then allows the turbo to run much more efficiently what kind of horsepower can you get from adding these to an m2 yeah, so on the M2 by itself is around 12 to 15 horsepower, but with yeah. stage two with downpipes, we make 750 horsepower. In you see, because the more air you breathe in the engine, then you need to complement it by the air that's been exiting the engine. That's why you got to do the downpipes and exhaust. And obviously with more air, you want more fuel going into the engine to make a bigger bang. And that's how you're making maximum power. Yeah, and also it puts less strain on the turbo. So the wastegate duty cycle is lower, so you can run more boost. And, and you definitely, Without a shadow of a doubt, couldn't run more boost if you're buying an M2 because I promise you ain't riding stock for much longer. What is the oldest platform that you currently have on your books? Like, what's the oldest car that you're still manufacturing for? E4A6 M3. Just like that, ladies and gents. We call them four pops back home, but that one has got a motor swap with the V8 and you're also yes. doing stuff like that for the slightly older generation cars. Yeah, so that's a very popular intake for us. E92 M3 is a very favorite car of mine. I've owned maybe five or six. I currently wow. own two of them. Nice. And we wanted to make that carbon plenum essentially for us. And now we have maybe sold 2,000 systems. Worldwide. Yeah, wow, worldwide. And it sounds incredible. But that car is very special. It also has DCT gearbox. Yeah. And I've driven it. Um, it's amazing. So it's a very, very nice car. I like E46s. I'm a pro drifter back home. and. E46 lends itself to being a great track chassis as well as a drift car. Yes. So the newest cool things include a Lamborghini Urus. So it's kind of strange because I thought, you know, people that buy Lamborghini Uruses are going to keep it stock, no. but you obviously, <laughs> obviously <not>. you obviously <laughs> find yourself a, a niche market and you're servicing it. Tell us a little bit about this. This is not just an air intake system. It's the air intake here. We've raised the lid here so we can maximize the space inside. And it also includes turbo inlets at the bottom wow. that has our special dimplets in it. 
you know, you've got to keep on evolving, right? Yes. There's always new cars and new products. What are you currently working now on as a prototype that's still yet to be released onto the market? So we're currently working on the Toyota GR86, Lotus Amira, oh, wow. uh, Ford Raptor, and also the Corvette Z06. So only more success going to go your way. Yes, we have. I so. wish you to continue. Thank you. Thank you. Wrestle <laughs> down my boy Reese from R44 Performance. Reese, before I even grabbed you, I was like taking a whole bunch of like, you know, fan pictures of your cars. Yeah. I, I, was, I was one of those kids. I was like, yo, yo, pa 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 pa. Tell me why a wagon? Why a wagon? Because, yeah, I love M3s. It's the first time they've actually made a wagon. So it's pretty big. It's big news. I like the G80 platform. So yeah, clout, isn't it? It's nice to have a wagon because you'll be the kid that's different from every other guy rocking the normal M3 sedan, right? Yeah, we've got a bit of everything. So we got the first right, so single turbo, precision turbo, first right and drive car ever to have one, which is pretty nice. cool. So we dropped the two turbos, put a big one on, it makes 800 horsepower. We haven't built the motor or trans yet, so that's next. And then we'll see a thousand. Not bad, Eight, no? 800 horsepower. Easy, easy. On a wagon. And then we've got some CSF cooling. We've got all the hardware to support it. So we're not like running lean where we're just full of power and then hope it nah. doesn't blow up. These are all the employees that work at our warehouse in our office. Oh, so wow. They got to sign? So they have to sign this because oh, this car dope. is driven all the way around the US. So it started off in Miami, got modified. So it was a brand new car when it went to the US. Oh, wow. And then we drove from, my, well, we built it in Miami, put it on airlift. We've got some Vossens, so shout out to Vossen in Miami. Yes, the yes. boys. Um, got some Vossens, got wrapped in a nose tech material. It was actually green. And then Ooh. we drove from Miami to Chicago. And, and throughout the way, we were visiting like, all the little shops and adding nice. more mods. So yeah, everything that's been done here was done by men and girls in the US. Car people connect no matter which part of the world you're in. 100, 100. So tell us, what else did you do in the States? Because obviously you were there for a minute. And we chopped off the roof. So normally it has like an aluminium roof, oh, which wow. is black. And then we, so we replaced that with a full carbon because it's an M3, it has to have a carbon roof. Wow. So how, how exactly did you, because you, you made that sound like it was a Lego plug and play, but it ain't no plug and play. Ain't no plug that, and play. That, that sounds like a lot of work yeah, out there. Yeah. So shout out to the guys at IND. So big OG in the BMW game, a company called IND in Chicago. Wow. Right. So they went there, we dropped the car for a week. They ripped it all off, cut out all the rivets and ripped it off, put a new one on. So that's been done. Interior, we've left it. We've got a full race wheel. We'll look at that. Oh, Pretty nice. Cool. So like detachable wheel. We've got to be like, it's a street car, so we've done street racing, we've done everything. Like, Oh really? Anything. Did you win? The, the question is, did you win? Three and grand. You, oh. Cash. On the bonnet. Dollars? Dollars. Good money, baby. Yeah, yeah. That's good money That's right there. Knows. That's what I'm talking so about. We've got like the tow strap, so if we ever fuck it up, we can tow it back out of anywhere. Um, <laughs> Which is really important when you're building fast cars. Yeah, yeah. Have happens. someone that is able to like tow you home when, when you mess shit up. Yeah. So tell me, you, you're running the suspension you're running? Airlift. And you're comfortable with running like Honestly, on bags, like on taking corners and stuff? I've never had a car in bags. I never want to have a car in bags. Oh, this wow. is just because we're trying to do something different. Boston, not something we work with. One more track, one more like, just like low value in the UK, no one buys wheels. Sure. Like straight up. But yeah, so on airlift, honestly, this car will handle like no other. It's really important because most track cars think that like, as soon as you put a car on air, yeah. it doesn't perform, it doesn't hold, it doesn't corner. It lies, all lies. It is unbelievable. And I can literally drive on the trailer, I can air up, I can air down, I can make it look, because it's on cup too, it's on like quite a beefy setup. Oh nice. So we just like, normally we don't bag it out. I'm not a kind of bag out guy, but this is one camber, so we've added some, you some got, extra you got it. You got to bury it to the floor, yeah. son. You just got to. So, yeah. Watch, it looks fantastic, man. It's cool, no? Yeah, it looks it's dope, bro. We've got like some UK, US brands throughout. And Damn. Yeah, man, every detail's been thought about. Every area, every workshop we've been to, we put a stick on the back seat. Oh, so nice. take a look at that, that's quite sick. So stickers, yeah, man. We've got a titanium exhaust system from R44. There's loads, like, these it's unbelievable. Those little things, yeah. right? Those little things. <laughs> and then we were at SEMA, and I was with Kyle, the marketing director from Boston, yeah. and JP from Germany yeah, came JP by, from, yeah. and we were all chatting, he was like, if you take this car from SEMA to Essen, you'll be fucking crazy. And then we just watched everybody walk around it for five days, and I said, cool. And then, wow. yeah, we paid the bill to fly it. 
from LAX, the London Heathrow. Homie's dropping like serious daily and weekly adventures just like that. Yeah, bro, you gotta be international. So yeah, we just tuned, we literally got it, went to our tuners, tuned it for UK, like cold temps, fuel, and then yeah, we just started boosting. Just like that. Legend, bro. Well done, it, homeboy. Thank, Thank you. you. See you soon. Appreciate you. So one of the coolest, craziest cars we've seen here this whole time. It's a chrome molly roll cage of a car that is being built around a Mark III Golf, but it ain't a Golf III. Not in the slightest. It resembles a Golf III, but this thing is crazy. The door usually is a complete door. This door has been sliced in half and only opens the top section. Very, very epic of the 90s, like the late 90s. But the crazy stuff's about to happen, just, just like literally behind me. Ladies and gentlemen, this thing is gonna be powered by a V10 R8 motor. So it's still being built, it's not complete, but just look at that. I'm kind of guessing this car is gonna weigh under a ton, pace, possibly just over, so maybe a thousand, thousand and a hundred kilos with a big V8 onto it. I'm kind of hoping it's gonna be twin turbo. Yes, it is, it is twin turbo because the turbos are just hiding over here. Let me show you there. It's not just one, it's two, one on each side. It's just a crazy, crazy build and I can't wait for it to be completed because it's gonna be mad. I decided to grab this gentleman He's a YouTube sensation. And first and foremost, <laughs> where did it all begin? What idea popped into your mind? How did it come to be? Uh, well, YouTube was just like a joke, basically. It was a friends of mine invited me to a car show and they said yeah. their host was not there. And they said, Misha, you're gonna be our host to do a YouTube video. I'm like, okay, let's do it. I did a few videos, people liked it. I continued doing it. Now we're almost a decade further on and we're still doing them. So 10 years deep, ladies and gentlemen, I think you've just reached a million subscribers or something crazy Yeah, it was like about like a month and a half ago. Yeah. A million subscribers. Yeah. yeah. So what was the very, very first car that you took on the ring that you obviously recorded yourself with the channel? Uh, it was not even for my channel. I mean, I posted the video of it because it was not intended to be on the channel. It was just yeah. like, okay, I'm me just driving. It was before the whole YouTube thing. It was a Nissan Juke R. Actually. Nissan Juke R, that is yeah, an so odd car to take yeah, around so Urban Yeah, ring. so it's a Nissan Juke with Nissan GTR drivetrain. It was running 800 horsepower with additional 200 shots of NOS. Uh, so that's what you want to do in a, in a wet on semi slicks. Well, why not? Yeah, I mean, yeah, we survived, but so, just barely. <laughs> <laughs> so you've driven a lot of crazy cars. What is the most memorable, like, supercar, hyper car, you know, the big money cars? Yeah, for sure. Driven. For sure. I mean, uh, well, the, the current GT3 RS, the 992, is a, is a cheat code. So, I mean, it's it's amazing, fantastic. But for me, my most memorable car is not necessarily the car, but the person I was driving with. Okay, and cool. that was my grandma. She was, uh, back at the time, she was 80 years old. Wow. And we drove in the R8. And wow. we did 300 kilometers per hour, so 186 miles per hour on the straight. So, I think she's like one of the fastest grandmas in the world. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <Sweet> done. <laughs> yeah. What car impressed you the most in the middle of the range back? You know, like the MX-5? A Miata. Yeah, Miata. Why do the Miatas keep on because impressing Miata these people? Because Miata is always the answer. But why? You know, the community is like very, very strong yeah, and very absolutely. protective. And I'm like, but why would you want to drive a Mazda MX-5 1.6? Because it's also like, it's a perfectly balanced car. It is. It's perfectly balanced. It brings out the driver's skill because you need to be skilled at it. You cannot compensate with the horsepower. Sure. You need to learn how to drive it. And the, the car control in that car is, is fantastic. It's amazing. What inspirational words do you have for someone who's just starting out? They're struggling a little bit. They're not getting the clicks. They're not getting the views. What words of advice you uh, Keep on going regardless what because uh, okay I reached 1.1 million this year beginning of the year I started with 420,000 so wow. 700,000 this year of gain alone so you know it takes you a decade to get there and you're all, all of a sudden overnight success so wow. keep going use haters as your motivators they're gonna keep on hating you regardless because if you're gonna walk on water they're gonna say it's because you cannot swim so just keep on going and also if your mom says oh but why what's you gonna do with this do it. If you believe in it, keep on doing. Do it for yourself. And if you one day can earn money with it, that's just a nice side. You're living the dream. It's exactly. one thing I say. If you're able 
to monetize your talents and you're able to make a living doing something you love every single day, yes. man, you're literally living the dream. Yeah. Hit it up. Thank you for hey, your time. Thank you so much. Man. Just like that, ladies and gentlemen, it is the end of our visit. It's been two epic days, man. Man amounts of cars, really crazy personalities and a lot of networking and making friends with like-minded people. Be sure to follow our social media pages, including our YouTube, Absolute Motors. We'll be dropping and banging videos on the weekly. And this is how we're rolling with Absolute Motors. Motors.